Ladies and gents, ladies and gents, Mr. Harris here back with another one. I want to talk about the death of Cameron Samuels and what it means for black men, in my opinion. Now, let me be straightforward and honest up front because I understand that, you know, uh, I'm not here to insult, judge, or put anyone down. There's a lot of fanboys on the internet. There's a lot of people who, you know, they'll follow somebody they don't know their personal life, but they agree with their sentiments on women, on, you know, telling women about themselves. So I'm, I'm not here to support 100% what this man said or who he was, because I don't know who he was. I was never a subscriber of Mr. Samuels, even though there are talking points that I enjoyed. I was never a subscriber of Mr. Samuels. And I wasn't because early on, years ago, I've, I've been watching certain creators on YouTube for years now, back going 2014, 2015, and it has changed my life in my opinion. Uh, but early on, years ago, I, I saw his, his stuff and I, I, I liked it, but um, I seen some mannerisms that I didn't like, so I never really got into separate Cameron Samuels. But over the years, as he blew up because he's talked about women and, and all this other stuff or just seeing a black guy in a suit you know <laughs> you know people people get a whatever impression and stuff like that uh, but all of that is not the topic of conversation because at the end of the day he was a successful man what he's built the platform he's built the fact that we even know this man's name is because he's put in work to become what he became and where he was at and I respect it the work already shows for itself I don't think I need to say anymore. I don't know his personal life. We don't know his personal life. I'll leave it at that. The man is gone. He did the work to become successful. And boom. That, that says enough. The other thing I want to say about, he died at 57. The honest truth is, most people, we think we're supposed to live for, forever. That's up to God. But the honest truth is, we are put here on this earth for a short period of time to do certain things, to help certain people, to make certain changes in society and, and really add value and do for others. And it doesn't take 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years of existence to do that. There are people out here that put more into their life in, within 10 years than people put into their whole lives at 50, 60, 70. I think it was Martin Luther King who said, you know, people make the decision like people die at like 30 they just not buried until they're 70 I'm not gonna live like that and obviously as, at a certain point he said I'm not gonna live like that and decide to change his life more power to him but going off going forward from all of that because that's none of that's the topic of that uh, of conversation that I want to be on right now what I want to discuss regarding the of Kevin Samuels is the feedback the feedback and the the type of disrespect, the comments, the opinions of BWs, I'm not gonna say the name, BWs towards this man Kevin Samuels and his death, including people that were close to me. And they said they had thoughts like, is that the guy? Oh, well, that's what you get for talking about, you know, that's what you get. And it, it is so disgusting to me. And it is so disgusting because at the end of the day, our community does not have this type of smoke. We, there's no smoke for drug dealers. There's no smoke for the police officers. There's no smoke for the politicians. There's no smoke for the court systems, for the murderers, for the thieves, the rapists, crooks. People continually selling our people this false dream of money, riches, or whatever, and investment plans and ideas, and don't do nothing. Become nothing. There's no smoke for any of those people. I'm trying to bust a U in. I'm, I'm just really caught up in, in the conversation I'm having. But th there's no judgment for them. There's nobody saying, oh, that's what that, that murderer deserved. Yo, I literally did. I, I literally, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. He did a video. He did a video on how female prison workers at, a, at an alarming number are sleeping with the inmates. They're sleeping with the inmates. Even teachers, female teachers, how many stories do we hear? 
How many stories do we hear? No smoke for them. All this man did was give his opinion on, man, get your stuff together. You cannot sit here making 20,000 a year, playing video games all day in a mom's basement, saying that some woman got to submit herself to you. It doesn't work like that. And he's 100% right. As a woman, you cannot spend your prime years sleeping around, being out in, in the street, going here, doing there, you're all over the place, and then 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 35, 40, where's all the good men? Why does nobody want to marry me? All you men are toxic. And that's the narrative. Two, three, four kids, 10, 20, 30, 140 bodies, sexual partners, and you think because you go to, I, 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 don't, I don't know, I don't know. But the fact that the attitude, the, the, the mindset is, oh, good for him. That's what you get. That's what happens when you talk about BWs. That is where we're at as, as, as a nation of people. We will not sit here and condemn the drug dealers who have destroyed Participated in destroying the community. We will not talk about the gang members in Chicago, in Brooklyn, in the Bronx, in LA, in every major urban city that have contributed to the collapse of the black community, of the black man, of the black woman, of the black child. We got no smoke for them. Zoom in. <laughs> Zoom in. It's still alive out here. Living his best life. No smoke for him. No smoke. It's upsetting, yo. It is so upsetting. But this video is not, is not for black women. It is for black men. It is for us to understand where the hell we are at. These women got no love for you. And you know what? That's fine. We don't need love. They need our love. We don't need their love. We need their respect. And that is earned and it's also taken. It means that we got to get up. We got to work our business. We got to work our job. We need to think. We need to plan. We need to strategize. We need to save. We need to invest. We need to stop worrying about laying up with some shorty. We need to stop worrying about trying to get some coochie. We need to worry, stop worrying about look, trying to look popular, trying to be fly, trying to think we're the biggest and baddest, cause you ain't. None of none of us. So, I'm not saying here. I'm I'm not saying all of this for us to get mad at, at women, and, and, and it's it's really for us to get an understanding. We are behind enemy lines. We are at war. Shout out to the business. Had a great video on it. Great video on Kevin Samuels. Just basically speaking on that whole subject. We are at war. Let's get, let's, we have to be ready for war. We need to move. We need to think. We need to strategize. We are at war. And, and the number one, the number two, number two person that should be right there next to us is, is actively operating against us. It's a fact. So now I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to make sure every day or every uh, five, six days out of the week. I'm doing what I need to do to build my mind, to build my body, to build my bank account. And we're gonna talk. We're gonna have some serious conversations because we gotta move. Thank you for watching, have a great day. Like the video, please. Thank you.